Okay, so now it's time to, to put all this into practice. Uh, I'm going to do a painting with just a few simple flat washes um, and using a very limited palette of ultramarine blue, alizarin crimson and burnt sienna. So we'll start with the sky, nice and wet, a fully loaded brush, lots of water. I'm just going to do a flat wash. I'll get the paper nice and wet first and then just throw some pigment in. Again, I'm, I'm picking up some of the muck that's already on the palette, just, just to kill that blue a bit. I don't want it too bright. And I want the sky to get a little bit lighter as we come down. Now over here we, we have a roof that's reflecting the sky, so um, that's, that's going to be left white. So that's in here somewhere. Bit more water in here. And then I'm going to carry this wash right down, right across the paper. There we have it, the first wash. Right, now I need to let that dry uh, before we put on the next wash. That's very important. Otherwise the colors will all just mingle and merge and run and you'll end up with a soggy mess. So I'll dry that with a hairdryer and I'll see you in a couple of minutes. Okay, paper's dry, time for the next wash. I'll, um, I'll start with the foreground tones here. We're looking at tones, values, more than colour. So we're going a little stronger now for the next wash, using burnt sienna and the blue. It just makes a, a slightly greeny, fairly neutral grey. And that's exactly the colour I want. So just reserving a few highlights here and there. I'll vary the colour a little bit, splash a bit of water in, just for texture. Okay. Let's leave a little bit of white in this road. As we get nearer the front. Get that road tapering, getting smaller as we get into the distance.
very simple, no fussing. Now we'll just get some texture into this here. Again, using the brown, the blue. Just get some of these darker shrubs in here. A few little flicks. quite a strong mix, not too much water when I'm painting back into the wet paper otherwise it will spread too far so quite a stiff mix there not trying to copy it getting some interest going on in this wash. Let's just stretch that out a little bit there. Okay, and now to add a, a little more texture. I can just throw some water at it. You can either spit or dip your fingers in the water jar and just flick. Get some nice little sparkles going on there. Okay, time to let that one dry. Back to the hairdryer. Okay, dry again, ready for the next wash. I'll go into the buildings now, so maybe a slightly smaller brush for this bit. Let me just reach across here. Let's go onto that one. It's still not really small, I don't use any very small brushes. Right, again, let's mix a dark mix. I'm going to do all this in two colours. I lied when I said three. I'll do it in two. Ultramarine, burnt sienna. Okay, we're getting quite dark now. Quite a stiff mix here. So time to start painting a little more carefully. I'll just get in some of these details. Probably a little too stiff. Can't actually paint it. Okay, building one. Building two. to link these um, these areas of darks. It'll make the painting hang together much better. And then there's a couple of little blobs over here. Just a little water just to spread that out a bit. slightly I'll go a little bluer on this side not for any particular reason just for variety um, yeah I'll put the car in
let's just go back into that with a little more colour. Just some burnt sienna. Just for variety. around this car fairly carefully just want it to show as a, a negative shape just using my blue and the brown Barely a car at all, but it kind of reads as one, hopefully. And I'll just dry the brush out a little and just again joining up these darks. Now, slightly bluer grey wash for the tower there, for the lighthouse. And straight down. Ooh, I'm not very straight. Got the shapes today. All we need to do is put in these poles so for that I'll use you can use a rigger or I like to use one of these it's a, a needle point it's like a rigger but it's it's got a fat belly there so it holds much more pigment and you can paint a longer line without it running out so just mixing up a dark Again, the colour not important, this is all about values, tonal values, light and dark. Okay, this is where you've got to be brave, one stroke. So, have the first one here, a smaller one over here, what do you got on there? One there, one there, one there. And I have another one over here. It's got a nice lean to it. One over here. And one here. We can put these power lines in here as well. So again, be brave. One stroke. line misses or it doesn't quite go where you want it don't go back don't don't mess about don't try and do it again Using the, the side of the rigger, you can get some little texture marks in here. But 
just little touches just to give it some texture and some depth because there's not much going on in the foreground in this again just add a little more to these little bits of plants of dry brush texture here and there just to give it some sparkle just define this road edge on this side just a little and I think we can add these stripes in here I'll just use the burnt sienna the brush. There we go. And there we have it. Job done. I might just add a little bit of colour in the road there. Because it shouldn't really be lighter than the sky. So I'll just tone that down just a touch. Okay, and there we have it, finished painting. Just using simple flat washes. That's all it is. But the reason it works, if it works at all, is because of the tones, the values, getting the lights and darks in the right place. We've got the bright sky, a little highlight there where we've got a reflection from the roof, and then darker tones for everything else. Everything else is darker than the sky. So, hope you enjoyed it, hope it made some sense, and I hope it's inspired you to have a go yourself. Thank you, bye now.